Hey guys, it's Super Jose Plays here, and today I'm gonna teach you how to make roads with intersections in Unreal Engine 5. Let's go. Before we start the video, make sure you download the asphalt texture and the road. Both are in the description, so go download them right now. Also, go to plug in, go to edit plugins and then search for chaos vehicles plugin and then once you see it click on it click yes and then click restart now if you already download them let's get right into the video before we can make the road we have to get this asphalt texture nice and ready to go because it will be important for the intersection so do this we're gonna go left click we're gonna go make a new material I'm gonna call this one M Asphalt Intersection. And we're just gonna go say that and we're gonna go double click and open it. You wanna put ambient occlusion, color, displacement, normal DX, and roughness. Just drag them in and wait for them to load a second. You put the color in the color. And if you guys are wanting to put displacement, since there's no displacement thingy on the M slash asphalt intersection, just put it in the pixel def offset. Because that's where it's supposed to go. And put the ambient occlusion in the ambient occlusion and put the roughness in the roughness. And then wait for all of it to load. And just like that, you got yourself a fully functioning intersection material. And now you may think to yourself, but Jose, this is a little bit shiny for intersection material. This looks more like um, a shiny diamond than a gritty asphalt intersection. I'm going to show you an easy fix to that. So we'll just take the roughness. We're going to go left click, search it, multiply. And then press like all on one, either one of these to break connection and put the roughness into here and then put the output of the multiply into there and then in the B put 2 and that will make it not shiny anymore which will be important for our road and also I'm gonna be organizing this this is optional it just depends on how organized you want your Unreal Engine 5 projects you can leave it as messy as you want, but I don't care. And now just click on apply. And just like that, you've done most of the work already. Because you don't have to make this all over again. To make the road texture, all you have to do once this loads is to just to duplicate this. We're going to name this M underscore four lane road. Okay. Now drag your copy material to the road folder. You may think yourself, but Jose, you could use a four lane road three material, but when we click on it, it's only a color texture, which means the material is is unnaturally shiny and flat for a road texture. This looks more like a marble countertop than a proper road texture. To fix that, we're gonna go to this M four lane road material we're not going to touch anything. The only thing we're going to modify is the color. We're just going to remove the color. We're going to take this four lane row one texture. We're going to drag it in. We're going to connect this to the base color and wait for it to load. And that looks much better. Now we're just going to apply. And then go to the four lane row two mesh. And then change the material from four lane row three to the road material that you just made. Just drag it into there and save. And now to actually make the road, it's not that difficult. It's actually very easy. All you have to do is just go to Landscape mode, manage splines, and then control left click, and then do the same with control left click, and then control left click again for another line. If you want your road to be straight, 
let's say your rows going along the x-axis, make sure your y-axis y on both ends are the exact same. For example, 25,000. And make sure the z-axis is higher than zero, like for example, five. And also make sure your make sure all your rotation is set to zero, or else the row will be unnaturally wonky. And then make the intersection just make come two more points, and make sure in all the splines that the y-axis number is the same, the height's the same, and rotation's all the same to ensure a straight road. Okay, now to make the intersection, what you have to do is just beware, creating this intersection may or may not lag your computer, so just keep that in mind when you're making these roads, especially if you have a computer with lower specs. Alright, to make the intersecting row, we're just going to do the same thing. Control left click. We're going to do one, two, three. And for this one, since it's going across the y axis, make sure its x axis are all the exact same if you want a straight row. Like, for example, we're going to make this one, once again, 25,000. And we're going to make the y-axis 5, once again, this, this one doesn't matter, for now. And also make sure the rotation for this one is set to 90, and everything else 0. Alright, good. Now to add the road, we're gonna go to we're gonna go to go here, click on one of the splines, and then click select all connected segments, and then go to landscape spline message and then click on this button, add element, and then click this, and then and then drag your four lane row two into the mesh folder. And right now it may look a little bit messed up. To fix that, all you have to do is change the forward axis from X to Y. That's to make the row look normal. And also you may or may not have to wait a while for the textures to load in. While those textures are loading, you do the same thing with the upper row, segments, mesh and then BAM 4x is Y and now you got some roads so we're gonna have to fix this because it's going clipping into the ground that's better and now you have this little clipping situation at the intersection how do you fix this it's actually quite easy you go to supply message index you go to supply meshes just below the mesh, you go to Material Override, click it, and then look for your asphalt texture you made. For me, it's the M slash asphalt intersection. Then drag that right into there and wait for the texture to load. Do the same thing for this other one right here. Material Override, asphalt intersection. You want to do this slowly, because if you don't do it slowly, You'll potentially crash on Religion 5. Make sure to take this nice and slow. And also save every point to make sure that your on Religion 5 is running and does not consume all your RAM. And that should do it. Another easier way of doing it is you could also just type in like a number here, like 26,000. And now do the exact same thing with less than half the lag. That'll work because 
This is 25,000 on the X and the Y axis, and this is 25,000 on the X axis. Let's do 26,000. That's too much, so we're going to do 24,000. Perfect. And that's a, that's a way you can like create an intersection, move those row pieces without the lag. And now just like that, you have created a row intersection. To make sure this road is proper scale, we're going to go back to the content drawer. We're going to click on add. We're going to add feature contact path vehicle. We're going to add the project. Go to vehicles, sports car, and then drag the skeletal mesh into your world. Okay, as we can see, as we can see here, it fits the road just right. If it doesn't, go back to landscape mode and you can adjust the scale of your road by going to segments control and then adjusting these scaling scalers like right here, like, like for example, Y2. But we're just going to undo that because this road works just perfectly. And that is how you make a road with intersections in Unreal Engine 5. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, bye.